Hey homies, you Fragment here. Welcome to another Fragrance Review video. Uh, before we start, I just wanted to apologize for uh, releasing this video late. I had a really, really rough day at work yesterday and I was extremely exhausted. I'm still adjusting to this new job. Um, it's a very fantastic opportunity that I'm working very hard to keep. So I apologize for missing out yesterday, but I have a very good video for y'all today. If y'all remember my last video, I kind of teased it. Today we're gonna be talking about Parfums de Marley, Pegasus, or how Jeremy Fragrance says, Pegasus. It is, f f I would say, effing amazing. I love this scent. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about it, but before we start, please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this fragrance. Let me know what you think of Parfums de Marley in general. Are they, I people say they're entry level niche, and part of me wants to say so, but I know, and I, I tested them, they have some very, very expensive fragrances that are even higher than stuff like this, like Carlisle and like Herod and stuff like that, that are like in like the $300 range, which are, they're mostly Orientals, I believe, like spicy Orientals are really freaking nice, by the way, um, but we're not talking about those today. We're talking about my first ever Parfums de Marley fragrance, which I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, this bottle, it's very hard to see because it's, the, the bottle thing is like platinum. It's like reflective platinum. I can literally like see myself in my reflection. Um, got a batch code of 039903. And I know I don't always do that, but since it's like so easy to read on this one, I thought I would, um, I would just read it out for y'all. Um, oh, cap is very heavy. Like this is solid metal. So you can probably like kill somebody by throwing it at them. Clicks into place so you can pick it up by the cap, but still be careful. Look at the distribution. Pretty wide. Oh, crap, that smells so good. Okay, so let's go through the notes real quick before I get into how it smells because I'm excited because I really, really like this scent. Uh, spoiler, but we got top notes of heliotrope, cumin, bergamot, middle notes of bitter almond, lavender, and jasmine, and base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. So, um, what is the easiest way to describe this fragrance? I know a lot of people are wondering, it is a sweet floral almond scent. And that's it for me. I, I'm i telling you, almond is such a good fragrance note. I, I y'all know, I think I've talked about it. Um, Low Medial Cologne, fantastic almond note. This one, like supersedes that in my opinion. It's like, it's a sweet almond that still has this kind of like fresh flowery base, I guess in a way. I, I believe it'd be coming from the heliotrope and the lavender, and you really can't pick up on that lavender. I'm not really sure what heliotrope smells like, but I'm assuming it's more of like a flowery note. So I would just picture this just like as a very sweetened almond that still has this flowery touch that keeps it from becoming like a full on like winter bomb scent. Cause I think without those florals, <clears throat> this would be kind of hard to wear in the warm weather. Like as y'all know, I'm here in Texas and I still wear this. It's not cloying to me personally, you know, it's nasty, humid. I'm sweating literally as I walk out the door. It doesn't bother me. It's it's sweet though. It, it is sweet, but it's not sugary sweet. This isn't Paco Rabanne uh, 1 million. It's, it's, it's not that. It's a floral sweet almond. And I know I keep like flipping those around, but that's probably the easiest way to describe this. You also have stuff like the bergamot that really helps freshen this up a little bit more. So it's again, not such like a sweet overbearing scent. Make these notes again, real quick, so I miss anything. And then having the base of sandalwood to really like round it out with the amber to really push out that longevity, which spoiler alert, this is beast mode. This literally does not leave my skin. Like it lasted pff, 10 plus hours on my skin. I think like I, it just never left. It always, it projected a lot for like three, four hours and then it never dried down to a skin scent. It was literally always like floating off my skin well past the 10 plus hour mark, which is fantastic because this is a very expensive fragrance, um, but it's, it's great. There's a reason why this one is, is highly coveted in the line, you know, outside of like Layton. I think this is definitely one of the more popular ones, which I, I completely understand now. This is such a freaking fantastic entry to the to the house for me personally. As y'all know, I'm trying to get more into niche fragrances. I'm, I'm picking up a few designers along the way, depending on um, if they stand out to me or not. Uh, I was really interested in that uh, that robot fragrance from um, Paco Rabanne, The Phantom. Surprisingly smelled good, but I, I really hate that bottle. Giving me some real uh, Toy Boy vibes, but worse. Um, but yeah, that is my review for the scent. I'm sorry, I just keep going back to smell it. Um, it's freaking great. It's freaking great, it's freaking great, it's freaking great. 
um, although it is expensive so please sample this you know get a decant on like eBay or something or Etsy or go to Nordstrom go to whatever big box retailer y'all have in your uh, vicinity for me it's Nordstrom not Nordstrom Rack Nordstrom and uh, I got to try literally every single one of them and this was definitely one of the ones that stuck out to me so highly recommend it but this is not the last performance of Marley I'm gonna be talking about because the next video is gonna be on Percival which is back over there somewhere so we're gonna be talking about Percival next week and why I went with that one instead of a um, versatile scent like LinkedIn um, so look forward to that and uh, I promise you I'll try to get out on Monday but thank you all for being so understanding with my um, my new work schedule and trying to figure it all out you know adult things but that is the end of this video please remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of Pegasus is it worth it for the money is is the house great is this entry-level niche let's talk about it down below and with that Hugh Fragment out